on the streets, they are untraceable, undetectable, and without serial numbers, they are practically invisible. Police say ghost guns are the weapon of choice for some of the city's notorious criminals. The parts to make ghost guns are easily available online. It takes only minutes to assemble, and in the wrong hands, can be deadly. But from a takedown on the streets to the NYPD's ballistics lab, a ghost gun's true identity is revealed. Once they get here, they're guns just like anything else. If they were assembled from parts or if they were commercially manufactured, if, if it's a functional firearm, it's a functional firearm and we treat them the, the same exact way. This is where Captain Matthew Strong and his team take ghost guns apart, from shooting them into a large tank to disassembling the barrel, to analyzing the etching left on the fired bullet through a microscope. When a firearm is discharged, uh, that live ammunition comes into contact with certain components internally of that firearm uh, and leaves certain features behind what we call two marks. Each bullet tells a story. It makes a clear connection to street crimes. Yeah. It's a valuable lead for detectives, and PIX11 was given rare access inside the lab to get a closer look at what's being done to help crack cases involving ghost guns. Detective Bustamante has been at it for 10 years. As I look for repeatability from one casing to another or one projectile to another. Um, seeing evidence to an actual recovered firearm. And I'm able to determine whether or not that particular firearm, uh, that ammunition was fired by a particular firearm or not. From here, the information is put into the National Integrated Ballistic Information Network, or NIBIN database, to see whether or not a ghost gun has been used before. Talk to us about the process. You were saying a shooting happens Friday night. By Monday, you will have a sense of what? Where we can basically turn around these NIBIN leads uh, in within three to five days. Police say ghost guns are an epidemic that blindsided officers. So far this year, police recovered 322 ghost guns, compared to 316 in all of last year. But the department is hopeful it can get ahead of this. And to the men and women hard at work. I mean, it feels really important. There's always a lot going on uh, in the city when it comes to gun violence and stuff like that. So it feels good to kind of be able to potentially help put, you know, at least some sort of stop to what's going on, even if even just being like one of the first steps in the entire process. The lab is always busy every day. These experts are putting ghost guns through the process and every day something new comes in. We get everything from uh, rifles, semi-automatic, fully automatic rifles. Obviously, the, ma the majority of the stuff that we get are pistols, but um, you, you see some crazy things. Sometimes you'll see stuff that, you know, looks like it's right out of the movies. The bad news for criminals is police are able to solve the mystery. Eventually, they are able to remove the ghost from the gun.